So what is the difference between new and object create? You might have seen it in JavaScript that we have like multiple ways on how to create objects. And a little bit of a question, which is what is the difference between new and object.create? So new basically takes a function or a class or a constructor and creates from it an object. So we take like the blueprint that we have in our uh, could basically and create a like uh, a solid object from it but object dot creates doesn't create it from the blueprint but rather it creates it from a already existing object and create another object from it so we have like this is the object a and this is the object b you can think of it it's inheriting from something that is already created like in normal languages not in JavaScript, but in normal languages, when you are inheriting, you are inheriting from the class or from the function. But object.create inherits from an actually created object and uses the old object as a prototype from it, for it. So this is the difference between like new and object.create. So new basically creates something from the new is from a blueprint and object.create creates it from a already existing object. So this is the difference. And now let's see it inside the code to make it also like uh, more clearer as well. So we create like conist and we have a car and we say like this car, we use a function constructor and we say this dot color is blue maybe and then uh, maybe also to make it also more solid let's, let's call it car clause so basically this is the clause or the constructor that we create from and then we would say conist new i don't know bmv or bmw but in german we say bmv uh, we say bmv is equal to new car clause so now we create a car from the car class and then we write console.log bmv. Okay, and now we see our car class is created. Now try, let's try to create something from uh, bmv, which is like the created object. Maybe you would say like uh, Tesla. I don't know, like Tesla is coming from uh, bmv. So we say like Tesla is equal to console. Uh, not con not console sorry uh, we say object dot create your like intuition would be i would like to create it from the class but in this case you create something else so if we write console dot log tesla and let's comment this one we see that it's getting it from the function because it is using the prototype function which is this one not this one so if you try to write like new Tesla, you would get like, this is not a constructor, but if you would like to create it, you actually have to create it from the prototype where we are going now into like very weird area. Proto, I think like this. Yes. So basically are creating it from the prototype because like you said, it's getting it from the prototype, but this is not the right way to do it. But rather, we don't create from the class, we create from an object that is already created. So it's say BMV and basically Tesla is inheriting it, inheriting directly from it. So if we open it and we open the prototype, we see the color blue. So basically it's taking BMV as a prototype for our car. So yeah, this is how to use object create. Another thing that is already nice about object create is that you could actually create from null because you can pass any object and the idea of using object.create null is that you have an object that doesn't have any prototype so what does it mean so if we try to console the old object which is creating from a normal object if we open it we see that it has a prototype and prototype has different methods inside it so i could legally do string. there is nothing says wrong about it and it would print like this object dot object. But if you create from null, and this is the beauty of using dot null. If you try to do two string, it will say, hey, where is this? It doesn't come from anything. And that's why this is could actually be better when you are creating objects for something that 
does it need to have these two string or any object like this and then see like these weird stuff but rather you define explicit methods that you need and you could still get the prototype if you need to because you could still like write to string like this and then get it from the prototype of another object that already has it so we could say like uh, i don't know pro to under under and then two strings so basically you are getting it from another object you could still get it it, it doesn't say it doesn't exist but rather it makes it way cleaner to use object.create from null so in this case you get these errors and now you know that okay inside my code i am using something incorrect and that's why it is could be actually encouraged to use this one over like the other ones so yeah so this is the difference between using normal function or using not normal function but using the new uh, keyword and using the object.create so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment and also all of these technical questions you would be able to see them in a repo i would leave a link for this in the in the description and if you have any further questions or any questions you would like to appear inside this interview technical question repo please leave them and yeah see you in the next video ciao